And welcome to our lesson on multiplying and dividing with negative numbers. So we begin with question A, where we have 4 multiplied by negative 2. So we can think of this as a long addition, where we have 4 lots of negative 2, which is here. And if we've seen this on a number line, we start at 0, we have 1 lot of negative 2, and another, and another, and another. So we end at negative 8. For question B, we have 3 multiplied by negative 4. So we can see this as 3 lots of negative 4, which is 1, 2, and 3. On a number line, we start at 0, we have 1 lot of negative 4, and another, and another. So you can see we end at negative 12. If you want to try and do question C, D and E, you can pause the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we have negative 2 times 5. So we have 5 lots of negative 2. We start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. And it is negative 10. For question D, negative 3 multiplied by negative 3. Well here we have negative 3 lots of negative 3. So here's one lot, here's another, and here's another. And because it is negative 3 lots, we can write it like this. And when we subtract a negative, this becomes an addition. So we have 9. And for question E, we know a negative times a positive is a negative, so we have negative 14 multiplied by negative 5. And as we saw in question D, a negative times a negative is a positive, and that is 70. Okay, let's move on to some division questions. So to calculate these division questions, I'm going to consider them as a multiplication. So for question A, we have 5 multiplied by something to make negative. 10. We can see this on a number line where we start at 0 and in 5 steps we have to get to negative 10. So you can see each step is at negative 2. And for question B, again we can write out the multiplication negative 8 multiplied by something to make negative 16. So we have a number line. We start at 0. We're going to go to negative 8 twice, negative 8 and negative 16. And because we have moved to negative 16 in two steps, the answer is 2. Do you want to try question C, D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we have negative 3 multiplied by something to make negative 15. And we need 5 lots of negative 3, so the answer is 5. For question D, we can work out 8 multiplied by negative 2, which is negative 16. And we're dividing this by negative 4, which is 4. And finally, for question E, Negative 36 divided by negative 9, we know is 4. And then 4 multiplied by the negative 2 is negative 8. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.